Hey guys, just wanted to do a short video on um, press release link building. Um, so like press releases in general get a pretty bad rep. There's a ton of services out there um, <laughs> who do just like really cheapy, low quality press releases. Um, you do not want to do that. Um, you'll end up just getting your uh, links posted on a ton of really, really low quality sites. Um, you just definitely do not want to go that route. If you're going to do a press release, go for uh, a reputable provider. Scission is like the number one kind of worldwide known provider. You've also got some other ones like pressreleasejet.com. Um, so we, we, we did this recently with a website of ours. Um, and we just wanted to really just run it as a test um, just to see, you know. I mean, pre press release links are good for a number of things. They're good for... Um, increasing your, your number of naked URL links, um, you know, pillow, pillowing out your kind of link diversity with uh, URL links. And um, it just means that you can then go and create more um, like exact and partial match anchor text links down the road. Although, generally speaking, we're steering further and further away from that um, these days um, because Google just is getting better at. Uh, noticing when a website is doing active SEO for off-site link building. But um, we were really happy with the results. Um, we use Scission. We craft our own press release. Um, probably crafting the press release is extremely important as well, just crafting it well. Um, so you need to pick a copywriter for that. So this one that we did was uh, on a website called TotalCrypto.io. Um, could a Bitcoin ETF, which is like, uh, a kind of stock market vehicle spark a major major bull run so bitcoin is obviously hot in the news right now um, and this upcoming etf could potentially uh, change the price for uh of bitcoin so we created this really nice like in-depth article it has like um infographics it has like a lot of data um, it's really like content rich so if you're going to do a press release you kind of want it to be something like this um and it has to obviously be you know, a, a, a catchy title because this is basically going out to journalists. Um, so it'll go out to their kind of like distributed list um, and it'll also go to like media partner websites. It'll go to like some specific journalists that are like in finance or business. Uh, that's just how it works. Obviously, these journalists are probably seeing like 20 press releases a day. They're never, ever, ever all of them are going to read it. So you need to have a, a title that's kind of catchy. Um, so this is what we sent out um, through our press release account. Obviously it wasn't named Total Crypto because the way we make it sound here on this press release is like third party. So we're like almost independently speaking about this. Um, we put in the naked URL link. That's a must. You do not want to have any anchor text in here um, because it, can get duplicated across like 50 plus websites as you'll soon see. You just want to have a naked URL like this. You want to have some quotes in there and some like, you know, kind of key takeaways, um, basically stuff that journalists can copy and paste and put in their own article. That's basically what we're looking for. And then you want to put a source, uh, contact number, email address, et cetera, just in case any journalists want to get in touch with you. Um, so let's look at the results. We literally just launched it through Scission. I think it was, yeah, I think it was the top option we went for. Maybe the web influence option. It was about $300, $400, which is not bad. We ended up getting links, backlinks from 72 unique domains. Um, now, some of those were um, the press release kind of syndicate websites. So you've got prweb.com. Um, you've got, I think, benzinga.com is oh that's kind of like a i guess that's like a syndicate website anyway um these are no follow links but again they're still great for pulling out like our, our, our link profile and you need to have no follow links in your link profile it's only natural um but you know we got kind of a few really nice um like legitimate um i guess journalists to pick this up so bitcoin exchange guide uh da dr71 website um, again, press release jet. So these, uh, coinpost.jp, which is like a Japanese blog. Um, but again, high, high, high metrics, 
um, they link to us. ICO Watchlist, which again is another uh, niche uh, website, ZY Crypto. So these are all really good websites. Um, I think this one, Newberg Gazette, is a, they, they basically just, I think this is just basically like copied from another website or something. Um, I don't think that's a legitimate one, but we got plenty of links overall. A lot of uh, no follow links, but a lot of follow links. Um, yeah, so that's why it's important, um, you know, just to try and make a naked URL whenever you can, especially because for, for the syndicate websites, it's going to blast them all out across all of them. Um, so this is like PR webs. I think, you know, it sh actually shows 72 links in Ahrefs, but the real number is probably closer to like 90. Um, but yeah, very important to have a naked jar of links. Um, you know, the, the Google obviously knows that this is a press release. It is beneficial if done correctly. Um, we definitely 100% noticed a, a clear um, rise in like the impressions and uh, organic clicks that came to the website after this, not to that page specifically. Um, but like site wide, it did have a, a, a positive impact. Um, and you know, press releases are, are completely natural. Big, uh, big websites, blogs, companies do press releases all the time. Um, so, you know, you're not going to get penalized for it, but, but you just want to, you know, use it as a small part of your link building strategy um, do it every so often. Don't do it all the time and just make sure you're still building all the, uh, other diverse types of links to, um, so this was like a really successful kind of case study where we, we did the press release. Um, but yeah, key points create a really, you know, you're going to have to brainstorm. You're going to have to sit down, whatever your business website is, you're going to have to come up with like a, a hot, a hot article or a hot topic, you know, like a study or, um, a survey, uh, something like that. We didn't do a survey this time. We just kind of came up with our own, um, conclusions based on like data that we found elsewhere uh and then yeah crafting the pressure these because you have to limit it to like 400 words and you have to bear in mind that journalists are you know they don't have time <laughs> they're just like everyone else they have deadlines they have to churn out so many articles a day so you have to give them everything they need to create an article purely through this you do not want i mean they sometimes might get in touch with you but generally speaking they will not have time to reach out uh, and get in touch with you and, and get the facts straight before they post uh, an article. So you want to give them everything that they need um, to, to create an article and link back to you. So that is it. That is how you should do a high quality press release for link building. Only use um, these kind of services. Uh, they are more expensive, but they will go to legitimate journalists and uh, you know, journalists who are actually signed up and want to, to receive your, your emails. Uh, don't use cheap alternatives. Uh, there you go. Any questions, just please ask in the comments below.